हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सोनू चौहान एंड यू आर वाचिंग मी ऑन योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज बाई टू एग्जाम इन दिस ग्राउंड जीरो सीरीज टुडे वी आर हैविंग द टॉपिक ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक फॉर ऑल द मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक दैट इज द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइन जनरली वी आर हैविंग अ डाउट दैट वॉट इज द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक समाइम ऑन द नेम ऑफ फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक वी सिंपली से द कंजर्वेशन लॉ ऑफ एनर्जी दैट एनर्जी नाइदर क्रिएट नॉर बी डिस्ट्रॉय इट कैन बी ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन फॉर्म टू अनदर फॉर्म सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी ट्राई टू कंक्लूड वॉट एग्जैक्टली द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक डिफाइन वॉट इज द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक फॉर uh this cycle what is the first law of thermodynamic for the process and what was the requirement so that this first law of thermodynamic came into the picture what exactly this result of the first law of thermodynamic we are getting in these all the point we are having a complete discussion so that you will get a lot of important thing from this entire discussion on the topic of first law of thermodynamic okay so If you talk about the first law of thermodynamics, whenever any type of thermal and mechanical energy is convertible, then first law of thermodynamics come into the picture. You take the example of the IC engine. You take the example of the power plant. Whenever heat is converted into the work, work is converted into the work or uh, heat, then definitely first law of thermodynamics come into the picture. Either it is the example of open system, it is the example of closed system. Definitely, it is the existence of the work. Uh, sorry first law of thermodynamic right so let's try to understand what exactly the first law of thermodynamic is first law of thermodynamic is also known as equivalent work to heat or equivalent mechanical energy to heat or the thermal energy means it is going to tell you the relationship between the thermal energy or you can say low grade energy and mechanical work or you can say the high grade energy heat is generally known as the low grade energy and work is known as the high grade energy so as you see in the practical case we are going to supply heat in the form of input similarly in the same case we are also going to supply the heat into the in in the, in the form of uh, input in this engine and after that from the previous lecture of the thermodynamic work done you are very much aware with the thermodynamic work then heat is supplied to the system then these all the gas molecule will try to expand and when these all the gas molecule will try to expand your piston will try to move in the forward direction and motion of the piston in the forward direction is the best example of work done by the system so what exactly we are we are doing here we are supplying the heat in the form of input and we are getting some mechanical work so one form of energy that is the thermal energy is converted into the mechanical energy and whenever these conversion exist first law of thermodynamics come into the picture you can see the same problem in the pedal wheel and it was the same issue at the time of 1840 or before that time if we need to calculate these all the convertible uh, convertible energy or the form of energy then how can you give the numerical relationship between the heat and thermodynamic work done and this heat and thermodynamic work done is formulated with the help of the joule pedal wheel experiment generally the result of the joule pedal wheel experiment is known as first law of thermodynamic so before starting the first law of thermodynamic let's try to know what is the joule pedal wheel experiment and what the output we are getting from the joule pedal wheel experiment let's see from this joule pedal wheel experiment if you see when weight is moving in the upward direction when whenever weight is moving in the upward direction right now it is completely a insulated chamber and in this complete insulated chamber liquid is filled and with the help of this liquid uh, in this liquid with the help of this rod uh, this liquid is steer right and as this weight was lifting in the upward direction sorry as the weight was lifting in the upward direction then 
this was rotated or this liquid was rotated and it is going to increase the temperature of the system and when it is going to increase the temperature of the system then in that process internal energy of system is going to increase that is measured by the temperature and at the same time whenever these pedal wheel are stopped and insulation removed then after that whatever temperature was increased suddenly or heat was started to transfer from this liquid to the surrounding so simply we can say the initial and final state of the system system means this working medium after cond conducting the sequence of the process sequence of the process first rotating this wheel second one insulation is removed and heat is transferred to the system so we can say after the sequence of the process initial and final pro, uh, state of the system remains same because the temperature and pressure and volume it was measured that was same so after that it was concluded that because there is no change in this entire uh, in this entire system so we can say that is working on a cycle which is including two important process in which one work is done on the system and second heat is rejecting from the system and whenever these values are numerically matched then it was concluded that if there is any exchange between the heat and work in a thermodynamic cycle not process in a thermodynamic cycle then we can say total amount of the heat and total amount of the work will be 100% convertible. We can't say it is valid for the reversible process only or irreversible process only. No. In this one, each type of heat and each type of work is included. So simply we can say whenever the total amount of the heat means it is added to the system, it is rejected to the system, it is uh, rejected to the system due to the friction due to the less insulation work similarly work loss in the irreversibility actual work done by the system these all amount of the work is included in the sigma w that's why we can say for a closed system undergoing a thermodynamic cycle summation of total amount of the heat will be equal to total amount of the work like likewise we have seen in the previous case that there are two important system or two important process of the system one heat is one work is done that's why pedal wheel was rotating and second is heat is rejecting so we can say simple formula that work done in one to two process two to three process if there are three process we can write like this similarly these will be equal to work done is all the process and this one is the algebraic summation we know very well what is the sign convention of the heat transfer we know very well what is the sign convention of the work transfer and this formula or this numerical relation of the first law of thermodynamic is valid for every heat exchange system like if you talk about any thermodynamic system then in this thermodynamic system like this is the example of the heat engine heat is supply that is qh then this is doing some work and what amount of the heat that is not converted into the work that is rejected to the lower temperature body so in this case if i write for this entire system that is working on a cycle so we can simply say that total amount of the heat is equal to total amount of the work let me tell you again this heat engine is working on a thermodynamic cycle so if i want to write heat is added to the system that's why i'll write plus qh heat is rejected from the system that's why i'll write qc and w will be the network and this is the simple formula you have used this type of formula in any type of heat engine number of time right so this is all about the thermodynamic cycle we are getting the relationship between the thermodynamic work and thermodynamic heat let's try to understand what is the thermodynamic uh, pro, what is the first law of thermodynamic for therm for process after that if we convert 
a complete cycle into the process. Complete cycle means this process 2 to 1 is going like this and if I will reverse the direction, this is going like this. Reverse the direction, right? Or reverse the direction means this direction is written by minus sign. So, in this case, if I justify, then as a result, we are getting the relation like this. We all are getting the relation like this means what we are getting. Either you conduct a process through the path V or you conduct the process through the path C, then del Q minus of del W for path B and for path C is not going to change. And for the, these different type of path, if I draw like one more path like this, if these different type of path, the del Q minus del W is not going to change, it means there is one important property that remain constant between 1 and 2. So, for the path V are the different, but this value is same for each path. So, del Q minus del W is independent from the path. That's why it is a property and this property is known as energy. If I will just give you the numerical value of this energy, then this will be the first law of thermodynamic for a process we can write. For any thermodynamic process, we can write the relation like this. That du, du is the change of energy of the system and that is del Q minus del W. Let's reformulate this equation and let's try to understand what exactly the meaning of this. That is del W plus of du. So, del Q is the total amount of heat transfer, heat supply to the system, del W work done by the system and du my dear friend, it is the change of internal energy. What exactly we are getting from here? Let's try to understand with this a small level of experiment. Let's try to see. W is the work done. Whenever heat is supplied to the system, whenever heat is supplied to the system, on this particular system, heat is supplied, then this amount of the heat is converted into two form. If it is the thermodynamic process, one, this piston is moving in the upward direction, upward direction, upward direction like this and second, it is going to increase the temperature of the system. Have you seen this thermometer? The temperature of the system was also increasing and increasing of the temperature is the indication that internal energy of the system, system means gas, internal energy of this gas is going to increase. So, if it is a thermodynamic system, whenever heat is supplied to that system, then some part, either 60, 70, 80 or 20, some part is converted into the thermodynamic work done and other part is utilized to change the temperature of the system. So, this is all the distribution of the heat whenever it is the example of a system, whenever it is the example of a process. So, I think for this particular process, first law of thermodynamic is very clear to, uh, to you and after that whatever we have discussed related to first law of thermodynamic for a cycle that is also clear to you. I hope this topic, this all discussion is very useful to you to understand the first law of thermodynamic and utilization of the first law of thermodynamic for process as well as for cycle. Thank you all. Take care. Bye-bye.